Our foundation's mission is to conserve nature and our outdoor heritage here in Florida. And when Ducks Unlimited approached us about the DeLuca property, we recognized very quickly that this was a once in a generation gift of land and gift of a conservation easement, and also provided the opportunity to partner with DU as well as the University of Florida and some of our major funders. The opportunity to to plant a flag in, in one of the most unique and globally significant wetlands ecosystems on Earth as the headwaters to the Florida Everglades, to showcase the importance of wetlands, the role that wetlands and grasslands play, the opportunity really to have that strong partnership in one of the largest outdoor classrooms that any university is fortunate to have, to give real world examples. Uh, and to develop that next generation of, of wildlife professional. Pulling all these marshes together here and bringing that water off this right. way. This is called the Fungaroo Marsh. Huge marsh system. It's on the south end of the property. Holds water almost year round. There's some very pristine sawgrass. We felt that we could use this property to do some pretty big novel research and some new ideas and pull some teams together that could really benefit the citizens of Florida. It's a living lab, great mosaic of uplands and wetlands and dry prairie and improved and semi-native pastures. They get to come out and experience some, some of the most unique native populations that they probably ever see in their lifetime. What drew me to Florida was that it's the rich biodiversity of wildlife that we have here. Unlike most of the country, Florida has a subtropical climate with exceptional soil characteristics that supports habitat and species that can only be found here. Our tool's work in this land is to understand, manage, and protect the flora grass hopper sparrow population that exists here. This bird is an endangered subspecies of grasshopper sparrow. They're unique to Florida. They live nowhere else. They can only be found here on dry prairie habitat. When you walk onto the prairie, you hear them buzzing and singing, um, and that's part of the Florida landscape, and we really don't want to lose that. Currently, this population makes up about one-third of the overall wild population of these sparrows. And we want to protect them to contribute to the larger picture and uh, the overall population of Florida grasshopper sparrows. The Luca Preserve being a working land changes the conservation of the species because it changes the paradigm. Uh, for the longest time, it was believed that birds cannot do well in working landscapes, only in dry prairie. And we are the proof that birds can do extremely well in working landscapes. The stewards of the landscape are those working lands owners, the farmers and ranchers who feed us and provide the habitat for waterfowl, for wildlife, and all the other ecosystem benefits that are good for people. Our ultimate goal is to come up with a management plan that can be implemented in other ranches. We want to leave the agricultural and cultural uses in place so that other ranchers will want to do these management options in their land. And so this becomes a demonstration lab between farmers and ranchers and wildlife professionals on how we can continue to support a vibrant, thriving, profitable agriculture sector in this country and do what's right for wildlife and for future generations of people. There was always concern of what was going to happen to the sparrow population in the future and the permanent conservation of the DeLuca Preserve means that all of our hard work has paid off and that these sparrows are going to be protected in perpetuity, which is very exciting. By preserving these species, we're preserving what the natural beauty that Florida has to offer. Spectacular projects uh, attract spectacular partners and we are very pleased to play a small role in this project and owe a lot of thanks to Ducks Unlimited for making us aware of it and for the University of Florida taking on the fee title ownership of this property. We want to thank Bass Pro Shops for providing the leadership gift for this project and also uh, our board member Daphne Wood and her husband Marty Wood through the William Howard Flowers Jr. Foundation. And we look forward to working with DU and UF as we go forward to identify other partners in this, and uh, both for funding and uh, probably helping other ranches. Think about also donating conservation easements to their property as we build a large wildlife corridor here in the Everglades headwaters. This preserve gives us an opportunity to pull all these people together and, and, and put them in one place and really start to look at the big picture a little bit better than small pictures and really help solve the problems 
and maybe even prevent problems for the citizens of Florida in the future. The bundle of opportunities, the working relationships with agriculture, the test bed for future research, the impact on the next generation of farmers, ranchers, and conservationists, and the fact that Florida does winter a significant number of waterfowl up and down the Atlantic Flyway. All of those things together make this the opportunity of a generation for conservation.